This is a presentation on distal bicep rupture. The surgical indications for distal biceps are complete distal bicep rupture. Partial tears that do not respond to non-surgical treatment are also considered for surgery. Tears ideally within weeks of injury, but possibly within months, should be operated on. Non-surgical treatment is appropriate for a lower demand patient. An older sedentary patient, you can expect loss of up to 50% supination strength, loss of up to 30% flexion strength, and loss of up to 15% grip strength with a biceps rupture that is treated without surgery. What are the outcomes of surgical treatment? Restoration of function and strength over a six-month period. There's a low rate of complications. Some transient complications include radial nerve or lateral antibrachial cutaneous nerve injury that usually resolves. Here is a preoperative MRI. On the left, you can see, circled in yellow, the ruptured and retracted distal biceps tendon. On the left picture, there's a red circle with an X, which is the radial tuberosity where the tendon should be inserted. On the right side, you can see an axial view showing the retracted tendon, circled in red. Here is an intraoperative photo. The photograph to the left shows the forearm incision that goes down to the radial tuberosity. Typically, it is only a one incision procedure. In this patient, the tendon had retracted so high up that a counter incision was made where I found the biceps tendon, sewed it up, and then shuttled it down to the distal incision where I drilled a tunnel into the radial tuberosity. This is an intraoperative x-ray showing pin placement in the ideal position. Then I tie a button to the end of the biceps tendon, dunk it through that tunnel, and flip it on the outer cortex of the radius. On the right you see the final product of a button flush to bone that is suspending the tendon into the radial tuberosity where it should be. These are final photographs showing the healed incisions. A patient who has this surgery can expect to achieve full range of motion by three months and full strength by six months. Thank you.